starting Squirtle's head with a circle shape. Then I'm going to draw his mouth, and his mouth comes pretty close to the bottom there. And then he has a little bit of a V like so. A couple of lines there, and then that's the highlight section of his mouth. Now remember, we can fix any bits up that we're not happy with later on. So I'm trying to now plan the eyes in where they're going to go. And I'm, it's easy to draw a lips and then just cut off the bottom. Then I've got another one and another one there. And then draw another ellipse there. And another ellipse here. There we've got his eyes look, and he's looking out that way. Now when we go over it with the pen you'll see it a lot clearer. So from about halfway through here. We're going to come down and from about halfway through where he's, the edge of his mouth is, we're going to bring the circle around and this is his body. So just past halfway, not quite halfway, but just past, we've got a line coming through here for the center of the sh front of the shell. And we've got two diagonal lines coming out there. Did you know that when Squirtle feels threatened, he draws his limbs inside his shell and he can spray water from his mouth to defend himself. Just adding the details on his belly with some lines here, making sure that you're comparing where they are and what angles they're going on, drawing them in nice and straight lines here on his belly. Remember at any stage, you can slow down the video, pause it to catch up. Now I'm just drawing on his arms, working out the angle that it comes out on, lightly sketching in the arms, and then the fingers are sort of like an M sh shape. And then he's got his other little triangle thumb, which is almost like a triangle shape, or the upside down V. Now the other arm, which is three fingers, and then bringing it back into his body, trying to match out where it is in relation to other areas, for example, where the line is on his shell. Now oval shape with a smaller oval shape. This is how you can draw. Pokemon throw a lot of curves and circles and ovals and they can be quite tricky to draw because they've got all these really cool curves that you've got to try and get looking good. Otherwise your character can look a little bit funny. Just drawing on his feet and making sure that it's accurate. Sometimes you might make a mistake, it's all learning. Just redo it again. Keep persisting, keep trying your best match it up, look at it, compare, and change anything that you need to before you start outlining. There we are. Now they've got the other leg coming out this side. Now it is about practice and patience and persisting. This character is tricky to draw. Even though it looks simple to get it exactly the same, it's taking me a few goes. But I'm showing you a good way to plan it out okay we've got the shell so the shell comes like this and then across the back you see a little bit of the shell there and then we've got the tail coming let's start with the tail coming up and around in a spiral like a spiral shape so like so and then the tail just sort of kicks in like so okay I think we've done a pretty good job. I'm sure you have at home. It's now time to outline, and this is a good chance for you guys to change any parts of your character that you're not real happy with. How cool is this tiny little Pokemon character called Squirtle? He's the, from the water and he's only half a meter high and weighs nine kilos, but he has some awesome defensive moves by being able to retract his long neck into his shell and then pump out some vigorous water jets. He also have other moves like tackle, tail whip, water gun, withdraw, bubble, bite, rapid spin, protect, water pulse, aqua tail, skull bash, iron defense, rain dance, hydro pump. And he goes from squirtle to war turtle to blastoise to mega blastoise. Remember my art friends, Keep drawing, keep practicing, and you will become a better drawer. And have a look at my other Pokemon videos to see how to draw some of my other favorite Pokemon characters. Don't forget, 
to write a comment below who your favorite character is and who you'd love to see me draw next time. Bye for now. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.